guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit the notification bell to receive alerts as to when I upload new videos. For my faithful family members, you all know I love you, love you so, so much. And guys, today I'm super excited because I'm back sharing with you all a home decor shopping haul. Now, this again is a part of my series, um, How to Style Your Home with Kenya's Decor Corner. And so in this video, I'm going to specifically be talking about how to find home decor items on a budget to style your home. So all of the items that I'll be sharing with you guys are items that are either number one, are very reasonably priced, or number two, they are marked on clearance. Yes, you guys know I love a good sale, right? <laughs> and so I'm here to share with you all where to find really, really cute home decor items on a budget. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I don't really have the items in any order in particular, but I will say that I do have a couple of fall decor items. And then the rest of the items are items that can be used transitionally. So any time of the year, which is what I really like. And then there are a couple of items that may be more geared towards the summer um, and those are some of the clearance items that I'll be sharing with you guys. So first, let's go ahead and just get started with the fall decor items because there's only a few of them and I have them right here near my hand. First, we will sh I'll show you guys this item that I did pick up from Burlington's. This beautiful pumpkin soap dispenser. And this one, guys, is not plastic. I have one that is plastic, but this one is like ceramic and I love this beautiful gold um, sequence leaf on it and if you guys remember a couple of years ago maybe yeah not last year but the year before i did pick up a beautiful fox um from bath and body works that's a soap dispenser and a hand sanitizer or um, lotion dispenser and that's at my kitchen sink so this is going to be perfect in the guest bathroom so that's why i picked this up because they really coordinate nicely with those items and it was only seven dollars and 99 cents so I thought this was a great buy, so I picked it up. Then I picked up two of these glittery pumpkins from Burlington's. And these are for the upstairs bathrooms, which really our guests don't use that often. Um, that's more of space for us as family, which we're not really having that many guests anyway, honestly. But at any rate, these were only $3.99. And so I did grab two of these. I thought they were so pretty with it being so... Um, glittery all over and orange and sparkly and you can see the color is a bit different than this kind of coppery color that we have in this one which is what we'll have downstairs and these will be upstairs in the bathrooms so so cute i thought they were so cute and these actually already have soap in them so this is a scented hand soap which the scent is pumpkin spice or spiced pumpkin so so Some cute. these little thankful napkin rings you guys can see that. I thought these were just adorable. They were $2.99 at Hobby Lobby. And of course, all of their fall decor items are 40% off right now. So it was like a dollar and something. But I thought these were so cute. So I did grab a few of them. I've already done a fall tablescape. So if you guys have missed that video, I will have it linked in the iCards above for you to check out. You want to go see that because I think it turned out really pretty, especially if you like traditional fall colors like I do, then you'll love this tablescape. So be sure to check that out. But I didn't have these when I did that tablescape. So I may be doing an update on the tablescape because I thought these were so pretty and I love that they say thankful. I picked up this beautiful sign this was from big lots and it's a part of their cherished harvest line and it was only ten dollars and it is like um galvanized sign i picked this up i love it because it's gold and i like the white lettering and i like the script on it with the little um, leaves here i thought it was very very pretty it's going to look perfect in my living room on the bookcase so many of the items that i'll be showing you guys are items that i'm going to be using to decorate or finish decorating my bookcases so that i can share that with you all and um with this this i feel like is something that i could also use throughout the year not just for fall 
but it is a part of their fall line and I will be putting it out for fall this year, but you might see it in my decor after fall as well. And two more items that are fall inspired, but I think they can be transitional items are these absolutely gorgeous birds. I got these from Big Lots, guys, Big Lots. These are so, so pretty, right? Oh my goodness, they're gorgeous. These will be perfect for fall, for Christmas, for any time of the year, just any time. This will be, these are gonna look gorgeous on my bookcase. And they were $16.99. And uh, again, a part of the Cherished Home Collection. And so they're calling these table decor items. I'm going to place them on my bookcase and they're going to look stunning now i would have liked for them to be facing opposite directions like this which i guess i'm going to make it work but, but you can see that his head is facing the opposite way um so it would have been nice if his head was facing this way and this one they're both facing towards forward but that's okay because i'm going to style them like this and they are going to look so pretty but yeah absolutely gorgeous for 16 dollars. i thought these were a great price i snatched them up with the quickness because i thought these are so pretty they look very expensive and again this is an item that can be transitional they can be used at any time of the year in your decor which means you really get your bang for your buck because it's not just for a specific season this is a charger plate from hobby lobby it was one dollar and 99 cent which you know the dollar tree has charger plates for a dollar but i love how this has this distressed look and that it's this orangey color, kind of orangey coppery color. Because again, I may be updating my tablescape, but look how this coordinates with this pumpkin. And so I thought this color was gorgeous. I thought it was so, so pretty. So I wanted to have this in my collection because I don't have any that's orange. And so on my tablescape, I did use these, which I have already had from Hobby Lobby. And these are pretty too they're like this teal color but i thought this orange color was so pretty and actually it might be nice to do a tablescape with both colors so we'll see but i did pick those up from hobby lobby also they were 199 and i'm not sure if they were 40 percent off or not i'm not sure if these are considered seasonal items and if they were 40 percent off but two dollars i thought was a fair price i did find this really cute sign which i may actually be taking this back guys because i do still like the farmhouse look but this is like really 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 farmhouse and i'm doing more of like modern farmhouse now um so yeah <laughs> but i thought this was so cute i couldn't resist and it says may blessings fall upon you like autumn leaves fall sweet fall so of course i love the saying on it and so we'll see. I may, maybe I'll put this on my front door leading up to the house, maybe. Although this is not really an outside piece, I don't think, but uh, we'll see. But I do like um, the ribbon here and I actually have already have a rug like this. So yeah, now that I think more about it, it might end up on the front porch, we'll see. I'll be decorating my front yard for fall here coming up pretty soon as well so you want to be sure that you're watching the channel that your um, subscription button is clicked so that you won't miss any of those videos um so yeah because lots of fall decorating is coming your way and so anyway this was $12.99 at burlington's and you can see the size of it i thought this was a really great price and honestly i saw something similar at kirkland's for a lot more than 13 dollars so i grabbed it little sign that i thought was so cute and so I grabbed it because I have, and I'm glad I did because I have not seen it at the Dollar Tree here, but it says homemade hot apple cider served here, mold with cinnamon sticks and cloves. And so this is a fall decor item, but I think it will be perfect for Christmas for like a Christmas bar. So drink bar. So we'll see, but I picked it up because I thought it was really cool. I like what it says. I like the look of it. And I like that it could be used for Christmas or fall. Like you add some pumpkins and greenery with it and make it fall or add, you know, some uh, 
cedar sprigs or whatever with it and make it look more Christmassy. Now, we're going to move into the items that I did get from Hobby Lobby on clearance. And so, while I was there, I picked up this really cute little mug. Oh my goodness, guys. Isn't this adorable? It's so cute. I love this. Kind of like an animal print. And that it is pink and gold with the gold handle. So cute. And it was only $1.19. So I grabbed it, and you know what? I'm kicking myself because I think they had at least six of them, and I only got one because I was thinking this would be a perfect cup for me when I'm having my tea or um, coffee or cocoa or whatever, and I'm doing videos and I want to take a sip, then I have my really cute little cup. But I could have gotten a set and then had it out as a part of my decor. So I may go back to see if they have more, but I will say, I guess I'm not too upset about it because many of them were chipped. So I did look through them and I grabbed one that was perfect. But the regular price on this was $12 and they had it marked down to $1.19. So I grabbed that. Also in Hobby Lobby, I picked up this book. I thought it was so pretty, number one. It's very pretty. And I thought this would be a really nice coffee table book. Um, and it says the voices of authors and artists come together to tell the story of God's faithfulness in and through the women of the Bible and his continued faithfulness to women throughout time. And so it's a really nice coffee table book. And I thought it was very pretty. It was on clearance for $14.99. The regular price was $24.99 at Hobby Lobby. So I grabbed this, this cute little birdie. And it was only $5.99 from Ross. Look at how cute he is. He's adorable. I love the geometric look of it. And this shiny gold. I thought it would look really pretty sitting atop this book, like on my um, coffee table styling. So I, got, I grabbed him for $5.99. And then I also picked up these glasses. I've seen these everywhere. You guys have seen these too, I'm sure, like, if you are on Instagram, and if you are on Instagram, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Kenya's Decor Corner. Um, but yeah, a lot of people use these kind of glasses in their coffee table styling or whatever on Instagram. I never really seen them in Ross before, and so when I saw them, I picked them up. They were $9.99, which I thought honestly was a little bit pricey, but they are very large. You can see how big they are. And they have a little bit of weight to them, so it would be nice as like a paperweight. So, I thought also they might look nice style with this book, but you can see how big they are. They're just, they're as big as the book. So, I don't know about that. Or maybe I'll have to style this book with another book, a larger book under it, and kind of layer the effect. We'll so, now back to Hobby Lobby. In the clearance section, they have these little pillow covers. And you can see here, it's for an 18 by 18 pillow. And they're like satin red, which is going to be perfect for Christmas, like this crimson color. And they were only $2.49. So I grabbed the two. They only had two of them. If they had six, I would have taken all six because they will look perfect on this pillow. Oh, my goodness. At Christmas time, this creamy color sofa with these bright red pillow covers. Gonna look so these adorable and fun and festive and whimsical and just quirky little napkin rings and they were in the spring shop which the spring shop items were 90% off so they were $10 $9.99 so I got them at 90 cent so I picked up I think they only have five of them and so I grabbed four yeah they only have five I wish they would have had six, but I thought, well, I'll grab four. So I did I grab those four, but aren't they fun and so cute? These would look perfect on a tablescape. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing something fun with these later. This is a little random item, but I did get this. I was telling my son, uh, my husband, my son likes to wear jewelry now. He's into like his own little style, his own little swag. And so at Hobby Lobby, they had this little, it's like a dog tag necklace, and it says Savior on it. And then on the back, it has a scripture that says, He died so that we may live, John 10 and 10. And so, 
since Addison likes to wear jewelry and he always wants something different, he has a cross that he wears. And so, but I thought when he's wearing like his basketball jerseys or t-shirt and sneakers or whatever, then he'll have one that he could switch it out to. The regular price on this was $4 and they had it marked down for 99 cents. So I grabbed it for him. I thought it was really cute. I love the saying on it and it's something that I know he's gonna really like. And next from Hobby Lobby, I did grab several of these really cute little napkins. They were $5, so at 90% off, they were 50 cents. And so they're kind of like a aztec -y kind of look, but they're pink and green for all of my AKA girlfriends out there. You probably like this. <laughs> Um, but I'll be styling a tablescape sometime in the spring and so this is going to be perfect color inspiration. This is a table runner that was $20. So, of course I paid $2 for it. This table runner, which I thought was so adorable, is giving me like the grand millennial vibes, you know, kind of like granny cottagey look. <laughs> and so I thought this was so, so cute. I picked it up. Um, the table runner was regularly $30. So for $3, I was like, I'll take it. It's adorable. You can see the background print on it with the beautiful floral like applique. And then if you don't want, then it's just white on the other side. So it could be just a white runner too. But they also had these really cute little placemats to go along with it. So my thought is because they only had two placemats, I will make these into pillows. So this table runner could be paired with these two pillows. So like my head table, I like to have pillows in the chairs at the head table and the runner there in the middle. So that's why I grabbed the two um, placemats that they had because they will become pillows. And they were $10, so that meant they were only a dollar. This was so cute. So, so cute. And again, you know, like I said before, it's like really, really farmhouse. And I'm kind of moving towards more like modern farmhouse. But I thought this might be really nice in my coffee bar area when it's not decorated for a season. When it's just, you know, every day, then I thought this would be perfect. So I'm hoping that it's going to fit under my cabinets. We will see. <laughs> But because it was on clearance, it was $35, so I only paid $3.50 for it. So I was like, well, it's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> so I thought it was really cute. I like it a lot. And because it's so neutral, I can pair it with a lot of different things. I could dress it up for any season, or I could just keep it really neutral for an everyday look. This lemon rug. Oh my goodness. Is this not adorable, guys? Is it not adorable? Oh my goodness, it's so adorable, right? Um, so this rug was regularly $20. And again, it was marked down 90% off. And they had two of them, so I took them both. Not that I need two lemon rugs, right? But at that price, I thought, why not just bring it home? I can put one at the front door, one at the back door. And maybe uh, next summer or spring, lemon, I might bring out my lemon decor items again and decorate the front porch with lemons and my back patio, which I do have a video of me decorating my back patio in lemon theme a couple of years ago. Um, I will try to find that video and link it down below for you guys. But if you ever want to watch any of my videos, I have the playlist there. So you can just click on the playlist and all of the seasonal videos will show up. So if you wanna see fall season, Christmas, then you just click on the playlist and it'll bring up all of my videos for the season. And I think I have them categorized by year also. But at any rate, videos are always listed in the description box below if you wanna check out anything. But I thought these were so adorable and considering I only paid $2 for it, I took it. It was the Spring Shop items. And so, yeah, 90% off of these cuties. So I got two of those. And so now I'm gonna share with you guys some items that I got from Big Lots on clearance. Again, these are kind of seasonal items. Like most of those items that I just shared with you from Hobby Lobby are seasonal, which I mean, I guess you could use them any time of the year if you wanted to. Like if you wanted to use pink and green 
at Christmas time because these kind of look like Christmas trees. You could. So if you're just imaginative and use items in different ways, then you can use it however you like. But some of them are very seasonal specific and some of them can be used whenever. So from Big Loss, I did pick up some really pretty, and you guys know how I feel about pillows, right? <laughs> pillows have a special place in my heart. I absolutely love them. I have way too many pillows, even though I've gotten rid of so many of them, and I'm trying to move over to using pillow covers. But since these are outdoor pillows, then I said, okay, fine. And I have a specific place that I store my outdoor pillows in my garage. And so these pillows are from Big Lots. They're by Broyhill. And this one was $18. So it was 75% off. So I think that's $4. Something like that. $3.50 or $4. So I thought this pillow was so pretty. They only had this one. Oh, you know, I was sad about that. <laughs> but I grabbed it because I thought it was gorgeous. I love the pattern on it. And this is all like stitch work. You guys can see here. This is like stitching. So it's so, so, so pretty. So I thought this would be the ac perfect accent pillow on my patio furniture. So I grabbed this one and then I picked up two of these gray ones, also by Broyhill. The price on these were $25. So that meant 75% off made it like $6.25, I think. So I did pick up two of these. I thought these were so nice. I really love this kind of boho look especially for outside because it's so like chill and relaxing, right? And so I thought these would look nice, again, on my patio. So I grabbed this and I thought this would be pretty as an accent in the center of it. We'll put it all together and, and we'll see. But so I grabbed two of these gray ones and also I grabbed two of these white ones. Also by Broy Hill, also $25, so it was $6.25. So I have two white ones, two of the gray ones, and then one of this gray one. But I thought these were so pretty. Now guys, again, I'm kind of kicking myself, which I'm gonna go outside and see how these fit in my outdoor chairs because if they fit perfectly, I may go back and get six more. Because at the Big Lots, they had several of these on clearance. And I was really shocked because these are so pretty, I would think they'd be gone. The big lots near, nearest to me, they didn't have, they only had one white one left. But I went to another one that's a bit further away and they had like a whole shelf of them. And I started to take eight of them, but I was like, ugh, I'm going to have to store eight pillows. I don't know. So anyway, I grabbed two of the white ones. And again, these are going to go on my little outdoor seating area so I think these will be perfect and these could be used in the house too so if you wanted to use these in your home you certainly could and they will look very nice as well and these can be used any time of the year you know winter spring summer fall because they're outdoor pillows they can be outside they can get wet and it'll be fine also these I got from Big Lots and these are more summer right but these are so cute with the little toucans on it. And I love this kind of peachy, coral-y color with this light lime and the black and then the jute along the edge there. And then the back side is this really pretty coral color with the jute still showing. So if you wanted to have it like festive party mode, <laughs> then you can have it on this side or if you want to tone things down a bit, you can flip it over to this side. This pillow was regularly $10, so I paid $2 for it. And I thought it was a great buy for $2. So I did get six of these. And these I got. Oh, this is a bigger toucan. It's like the, the coordinating pillow to this. You guys can see that. And I thought this was really, really pretty, but it's the same print on both sides. And so I only got two of these to be like head table pillows, which I'm thinking maybe I should have gotten one more. But anyway, I didn't. I got two of these um, to go to the head table for my outdoor set. Again, $10, so I paid $2 for them. So I thought this was a great buy and they're super cute for the summer. So I'll definitely be doing like some tropical vibes this coming summer out on the patio. Oh look, 
Here's one of the things from Hobby Lobby. Look at how cute that's going to be. Oh my goodness. That's going to be adorable. It's going to be so, so cute. So yes, you can already see where I'm going with this for next summer. So that's those from Big Lots. So I feel like I really scored on some outdoor pillows from Big Lots this season. I was really happy. I found this table runner. And you guys see the ends, the ruffles here. You know that I have some placemats that have these ruffles like that. So that's exactly why I grabbed this because I wanted it to coordinate with the placemats that I have. So it was only $8.99, guys. That's regular price, $8.99. That's a great price for this table runner. And, you know, it's double lined so you can have it on either side. It will look really cute if you wanted to do white with the linen or if you just want to have the linen look. So I love that it's versatile. I love that it has the ruffle and it matches already something that I already have. So that's just adding to my collection and expanding my options with items that I already have paired with a few new items. And look, guys, this could also go with my summer stuff if I wanted to put it out there or have these even inside the house if I wanted to because even though they're outdoor pillows they can be used inside as well so yeah it could you see how you guys see what I'm saying how you can style your home on a budget and you're using items in multi-purpose ways which is fantastic so it's very easy if you just have to know where to look and how to look and how to put things together and you can really style your home on a budget all this stuff I got from Big Lots was under $100. All of these pillows, all this stuff. And I have to say, guys, I did get a bunch of snacks um, for Addison for school, you know, for his lunch kit. So I didn't even show you all that. Maybe I'll do that in a separate, like, grocery haul or something. But they had a whole lot of snack items, too. So I got him a lot of good goodies. <laughs> so, yes, you can definitely sell your home on a budget. I was in TJ Maxx. And I found these beauties. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. You guys see this tray? It's a wooden tray. And you can see the detail work on it. First of all, this could be a wall piece. It can be hung, although there's no hardware on here to hang it. So you'd have to use like a command sticky things or something if you wanted to hold it. But do you see that price? $8, $7.99 from TJ Maxx for this absolutely gorgeous tray. So I grabbed two of them because I think I'm going to use these as like um, a backdrop on my bookcase and put I could put a wreath in front of it or even if not on my bookcase, if I wanted to put it on top of my cabinets in the kitchen, like I have an area there that's decorated, you can use this as a backdrop and put... Um, a wreath is what I'm thinking in the center of it or a plate in front of it with some greenery or a vase with some greenery coming out of it. There's so many ways you can style this. You can use it as an actual tray on your kitchen island, on your coffee table, you know, wherever. It's a large tray, so you may not be able to use it like in your bathroom vanity or something like that. You can use it on your bed as a serving tray. Like, oh, I'm having an idea now. Breakfast in bed, maybe. And you can use this as a serving tray for breakfast in bed. You know, there's so many ways to use this, this beautiful item. And I love the finish on it, this light gray um, finish that's a little bit um, distressed. I thought it was so, so, so pretty. So again, I picked up two of them. You will see how I use this in my decor. Maybe I'll do some coffee table stylings with this. But they did have, um, at TJ Maxx, they had these wreaths that were made of wood and it was orange and yellow like kind of muted colors for fall it was absolutely gorgeous but they were missing pieces each one of them they only had like three of them and each one were missing pieces from it and so i just didn't want it because they weren't uh, right but i'm gonna see if i can find it because i think that would look so pretty for the fall to have it especially here in the living room with that really light kind of muted orange and yellow colors. I went really bold in the dining room, so I want to tone it down a little bit for over here. 
so the two areas can speak to each other but it's not so bold over here because the tones are a little bit more muted so we'll see i'll be on the lookout for that so you guys will definitely see how i use this in my decor coming up so i have these items already i don't remember if i showed them to you or not i have them already in my um decor stash and i was actually planning to return them because i was like where am i going to put these <laughs> and then when i did attempt to return them they I, I don't think i could find my receipt or something and so they were only going to give me a fraction of what i actually paid which i paid 12.99 for these and so i thought you know what i'll just keep it it'll be better to keep it than to give them away i could sell them for more than what they were going to give them to me for but anyway, I thought these were so pretty and they could be spray painted. And that may be what I do, actually. I might spray paint these and use it either on the bookcase or on the side of the bookcase or somewhere in here. I don't know. Maybe up top, too. Oh, yeah, that might be pretty to, to put it up there. But at any rate, I thought these were pretty. These corbels, I have two of them. I can't remember if I showed you guys these or not, but I did purchase them a little while back, um, several months back, and I thought I was going to return them, and then since I didn't, and I was going through all of my stuff because I was getting things together so that I can share with you guys what I've purchased and then what I'm going to decorate with, and so I pulled these back out because I'm probably going to use them in my decor. And so I thought they were so, so pretty. So I do have these two for $12.99. Leave me a comment below if you remember seeing these in another decor haul. Because <laughs> I can't remember. Um, but in my last decor haul, I showed you guys these beautiful wood uh, carved pieces. And these would coordinate with that perfectly. So I'm glad I kept them, right? Because they might work out just fine. <laughs> So, yeah, so that is it, guys. I hope that you all can see that, like I said, you can truly style your home on a budget. Um, you just have to know where to shop and um, keep your eye out for sales and kind of know when it's time to go, right? So, usually at um, the mid to end of August, Hobby Lobby has their spring items on clearance usually here it takes forever for them to mark them down to 90 percent and when they do generally it's not a whole lot left so a lot of times i will shop their clearance when it's at 75 percent because you can get more options even at 66 percent is not 90 percent but it's still a huge savings and you have more selection you can get items that you really want if you keep an eye out on it um, but if you're like me and you're like, okay, well, I'll just see what they have at 90%. If I find something cool, if I don't, then cool. And so lucky for me, I was able to find some really cute items at 90% off in Hobby Lobby. Same thing with Big Lots. At the end of the summer, at the end of each season, all my major stores generally mark their items on clearance. And so um, some of my favorite decor stores I like to shop in a lot, like Hobby Lobby, Big Lots, um, JC Penney stores like that, they will have their seasonal decor marked on clearance because they need to move it out of the way so they can make room for the next items. Michaels, etc., Joann's, all of them. Now, stores like Ross, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls, they don't always mark things on clearance. Like, I've been in Ross and I've seen some stuff and it was Easter bunnies and they still have them marked at regular price. You know, sometimes they mark it down, sometimes they don't, but because they're already discounted stores. But otherwise, um, that's when I like to shop when things are off season because you can get your best bang for your buck. Alrighty, guys. So this video has gone much longer than I had anticipated. So I will, in a separate video, share with you all how I style some of the decor items that I've shown you in this video and in the previous video, how I style it all together so you can get ideas on how things look. Alrighty, be sure to leave me a comment down below to let me know what you guys think um, about all the items that I've gotten. Have you found some great sales at stores that you want to share with me or others in the comment? If you do, then leave it there because I would love to know. Again, you guys know I love a good sale, right? Um, so if you're new here, welcome again. I hope that you will go ahead, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any videos. And also leave me a comment and let me know that you're new here so I can be sure to welcome you to our family. For my faithful family members, 
You all know I love you, love you, love you so, so, so very much. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.